This video provides a brief overview of T-Former Designer. In this video demonstration, you'll learn how to create an article list with barcodes, page numbering, and automatically calculated totals. The article data is stored in a separate file with the following columns, model name, part number, and quantity. This data is printed as a list, also called report with T-Former Designer. Start T-Former Designer and create a new report. Confirm your selection. Based on your selection, T-Former Designer creates a sample report with the following areas. The report header is printed at the top of the first page. The page header appears at the beginning of each page. The detail band is printed for each data record, in this case for each row in the article data file. The page footer is shown at the bottom of each page. And finally, the report footer appears only on the last page of the report. A click on preview displays the output using automatically generated sample data. Page 1 contains the report header, a page header, the detail bands for data records, and the page footer. Page 2 shows again the page footer. Also, the page header and the last detail band are printed. As this is the last page of the output, the report footer is also rendered. Let's continue by importing the data from the article file. Click New Data Source and select Text File. The data source wizard opens. Select the article file and click Open. A preview with the imported data and the column names is displayed. Confirm with OK. You'll notice that T-Former Designer creates a data field for each column contained in the file. Data fields are used as placeholders for the imported data in the layout. Confirm this dialog. The next step is to design the report layout. First, modify the report header. Replace the sample text with a suitable fixed text. The current date should also be included. Insert it by using the button Insert Expression and select Now. The expression Now instructs T-Former Designer to show the current date during printing. In this example, the page header is used for printing the column headings at the top of each page. First, delete the sample text. Then, insert a new text element and enter the required column description. Follow the same procedure for the remaining columns. The detail band is printed for each row in the article file. To print the imported article data, text elements are used again. Instead of entering a fixed text, assign the appropriate data fields. As already mentioned, these data fields are used as placeholders for the imported data. Follow the same procedure for the remaining columns. In order to print the part number also as barcode, insert a new barcode element. In the upcoming wizard, assign the data field part number. Important parameters like barcode symbology can be modified in the toolbar. More advanced settings are available in the property list. For example, disable the human readable text by changing the corresponding property. Finally, the alignment and font size of the text element displaying the quantity are adjusted. Now prepare the content of the page footer. 
the current page number and the total number of pages should be visible. Replace the sample text with one of the predefined expressions for page numbering. Confirm both dialogs with OK. The report footer is normally used to print totals. In this example, the total quantity of all articles will be computed. Replace the sample text. Then insert a data field representing the total amount. The total amount is the sum of all individual quantities. This value must be calculated before it can be used in the layout. To do so, create a new computed data field. With a computed data field, arbitrary computations can be performed. First choose an appropriate name. Then select the required data type. Now instruct Tformer Designer to perform the calculation per row in the article file, also called record. The calculation will be carried out using the data field quantity. As calculation type, select running sum, a synonym for cumulative total. Confirm with OK. The newly defined data field for the total quantity is inserted into the text. The layout draft is now finished. Verify the imported data. Now use the preview to check the output. Page 1 shows the report header with the current date, the column headings, and the article data including the part number barcodes. At the end of each page, the page number and the total number of pages are shown. Tformer Designer handles page breaks completely automatically. The last page of the output contains the total quantity. You're free to modify the layout to meet your requirements and then print or export the results. I hope this video was helpful and I encourage you to check out Tformer Designer for yourself. Thanks for watching.